so they've got to tell me some history about my beautiful old, my beautiful old Mark VI. So it will tell me when it was made? I can tell you when it was week? made and when it was sold and to, oh. and to what shop or what distributor. Oh, what Next guest uh, of the morning, uh, Dan is with us on uh, BBC Radio Lancashire this morning. He's off to Berlin very soon, but uh, he's an old friend of the afternoon programme. You've been in a few times. I have, John. It's uh, great to be back. Yeah, because it's a musical thing rather than taking out a song. And then we've got Tourism uh, Tim at 22. And with our studio guest, Dan Forshaw, this uh, Saturday morning. Dan, of course, here for uh, a very special event tomorrow at the Royal Northern College of Music, Berlin, to play with German musicians right. on the 11th of the 11th. That's very poignant, isn't it? To be in Berlin on the 100th anniversary at the end of the First World War, playing with German musicians is, is quite an honour and quite a real privilege. I've got two concerts that evening. <laughs> grandmother's father had his optician shop here uh, in the 1920s. Here's the original photo and that's what it looks like today. There's something about not living near home anymore that makes you want to appreciate your roots even more. I think that's how I reckon kind of what sparked this interest in family history. I now live so far away from where I was born and where all my family is from that I don't know whether I, it's, I'm frightened of losing my roots, whether having a connection to it appeals to me. Maybe I know lots of you probably don't live where you grew up or maybe have moved around a little bit. I mean, do you feel the same way? Do you feel that you want to get kind of get to know your roots and kind of where you're from? Good morning, welcome to Sunday. It's saxophone day at the Royal Northern College of Music. Sorry the kind of vlog didn't have a thread yesterday. I did the radio interview. The G7X still isn't working properly. So I just kind of, oh, I just kind of all, I never kind of got the vlog finished yesterday. Although I was always intending for it to be a two, a two part one part vlog, if that makes sense. I.e. having today and yesterday all as one thing. So anyway, off to Manchester one of my favourite cities.
I'm here in Manchester. Let's check the car's locked. <coughs> Now I've coffee everywhere. Here in Manchester for the Royal Northern College of Music annual saxophone day. This has been running for 18 years and it's the first year I've actually managed to get to it because usually it's on Remembrance Sunday or I'm away gigging or something. Massed saxophone orchestra. Some people would say this is a pretty much a terrible idea. Uh, but could be fun, could be good luck. I don't know how many you've got there. Looks like the seating are about two or three hundred. Um, could make a terrific noise. Very quickly, Yannick Asawa WO20 which is the new one to my 992. So they've got to tell me some history about my beautiful old, my beautiful old Mark VI. So it will tell me when it was made? I can Is tell you when it was week? made and when it was sold and to, oh. and to what shop or what distributor, oh, man, what country. <laughs> but uh, we have to find it, so which is not so easy. Plated. All right, what's silver plated? Hey, it was silver plated. Okay. <laughs> silver plated. Silver plated with a golden, uh, golden uh, bell. All right, yeah. Oh, gold, right. Pla gold plated bell. Oh wow, it's a good horn then. <laughs> and where did it sell to? And it was sold to. Elkhart? Is it no, 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 it, no, it's not Elkhart, it's Eastern. Eastern? No. no, it's not. Because that's 19th of December, 57, 56, 19th of December, 56. Probably within a year, in the year of 10 yeah. yeah, December so is, is this, is this is the completion day, is it? Yeah, no, this and one was the sale day. It's when it's been sold to the, right, the um, ship. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so this date is day. when it, it's yes, when it has been finished. So, so, let, so it's so few, yeah. we'll go that, that way a little bit. Yeah, that's <laughs> There we go, got you in the vlog, Richard. <laughs> got you and Chris Potter in the vlog at the same time. <laughs> there you go. Just started, yeah, oh, first year. Yeah. Yeah. Dan and Dan. Dan's a subscriber, I said hello. <laughs> Some of you were subscribers in here and haven't said hello. But, uh, so how are you finding Manchester, Dan? Yeah, I'm loving it, really enjoying it. Where are you from originally? I'm uh, from Nottingham. Oh, oh it's yeah. not too far, Yeah, right? not too far away. So what are you playing, Soprano, uh, Est and Alto? Soprano and, yeah, yeah, and Alto. Nice, Yannick Sawa, Soprano. Yeah, Yannick. Yeah, good to meet you, Dan. Yeah, really yeah, nice well, to you meet you. Well, you've got to this yeah, yeah. quartet thing, Yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. This is Rob. Hi. Rob's another subscriber, another one of the saxophone family. Rob, now's your chance. Yeah. Seven and a half thousand people, what are you going to say apart from are you? I don't know. It's a good day. Are you day. having a good day? That's yeah, the main really thing. good day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone's yeah, come this. along. So this was just the Delta Saxophone Quartet. I'll try and if I can find, I'm sure that film is floating around somewhere on YouTube. Uh, they just did live music. So that's the first time I've actually heard, sorry Rob, I'm cutting you out of shot there. <laughs> first time I've heard live music to a film. I've actually been in it. I know three friends who do it, uh, but the problem is we're putting you in that now, Rob. The autofocus is going on yeah, to me. Obviously, me. <laughs> the camera wants you, not me. Um, but uh, 
No, it's absolutely fantastic. Well, well worth it. And the saxophone day is equally good. Anyway, let's move on. Well, that wasn't the cleanest release I've ever done of the camera. <laughs> Had a wonderful day here at the RNCM Saxophone Day. I've got to head back to Cambridge now. Uh, the kids are meeting me. My parents are bringing them down really soon. Um, I've had, it's been really informative. I mean, finding that out about my Mark VI was amazing. And just the whole day, I could highly, highly recommend it to any of you who are interested in the saxophone. And uh, I'm hoping to be back next year. So thank you to Andy Scott and Bob Buckland for organizing this. It's been a wonderful, wonderful time. See you soon.